the exercise the assignment related to the electrode potential in transition metal as the two topics are related to each other uh, and i did the first uh, nine questions from this so starting with question 10 In question 10, a yellow crystalline solid E was dissolved in a distal water to give a yellow solution. Addition of a dilute sulfuric acid to this solution produce an orange solution. So normally, when we have a dichromate, it changes its color in acidic and alkaline medium. When we warm F with ethanol, ethanol basically ethanol will be oxidized to carboxylic acid and it will reduce the substance here. When we have chromate ion, Cr2O7 turn into CrO4 with the charge, uh, because chromium is plus six, so this is minus two here, and this will be minus two as well. When we write a redu balance redox equation, uh, we need three water molecule because seven, and before writing the water molecule, chromium is balanced. So here we should have uh, to balance oxygen. We add uh, water, so we'll add water here. And then we'll add to balance hydrogen, we add protons. So two protons are here. And then the charge will be balanced as well. Oh, like electrons, we'll add two. Here we have minus two. Here we have uh, like minus. So we'll add electron here. But the idea is that. What will happen if we add an acid, if it is in acidic condition? Acids have more protons to equilibrium, the balance will shift towards the left-hand side. So an, an opposite will happen if we add an alkali, the equilibrium will shift towards the right-hand side. That's why the color changes happen. If we warm this chromate ion or dichromate ion, which is in chromium-6 is there. When we warm with ethanol, ethanol will oxidize to carboxylic acid, ethanoic acid, and it will reduce. That's why the solution turned green. The standard cell was set up uh, using the solution F and G for the right-hand electrode and ethanol and ethanol on the left-hand electrode. And it the cell voltage was 1.94. So voltage with the cell produced, that is 1.94. Deduce the formula of the ions responsible for the color of F and G and using the standard electrode potential and the electrode potential of a cell and use the value in the data booklet. So we need a data booklet for especially the electrode potential questions. You have to use a data booklet. So as they already mentioned, they specify that the standard cell was set. So whenever they mention like standard set, uh, cell is set up and their positions are also mentioned, like on the right-hand electrode, we have a uh, solution of F and G. On, on the left, we have uh, ethanol and ethanol. So what is the equation whenever standard cell is set up? The standard electrode potential equals to electrode potential of the right-hand side minus the electrode potential on the left hand side. This, this is whenever standard cell is set up. Or it is always uh, oxidation minus reduction. You can also use that. Just remember from redox. Uh, so, sorry, reduction minus oxidation because uh, redox is there. So you just do reduction minus oxidation. You will also get the cell voltage. So both ways we will get the same answer. So first, what we'll do, we'll work out the electrode potential and of uh, this solution, like the, and then we'll compare what we have the solution. So the you can use any of them for any of the formula. So this is minus zero point six one volts, and on the right hand side we have this. So this is unknown x is there minus on the left hand side it was uh, one point nine four. Uh, on the left hand side, it was yeah uh, electrode potential of a cell found to be so this was one point nine four sorry and the voltage of this ethanol uh, to aldehyde or uh, ethanol to ethanol was minus zero point six one so this the cell voltage was one point nine four 
and the voltage here is minus 0 0.61. So you just simplify like minus minus plus, it will go other side, it will be negative again. So we just subtract, so we'll get as 1.33 volt. So that is X. Or you can also use this reduction minus oxidation. So what is the reduction? Uh, like chromium is actually, it's a chromium, it is reduced, so that is unknown. Oxidation, alcohol oxidized to aldehyde, so that, that voltage is minus 0 0.61. And the cell voltage was 1.94. So again, we solve, we'll get the same answer. It won't make difference if you use reduction minus oxidation or you will use the electrode potential on the right-hand side cell minus electrode potential on the left-hand side cell. Then we have to identify the F and G. So for that, we will use the data booklet. We want a, like chromium and that is 1.33. So conversion of a chromium and dichromate. So you can see here, this one, 1.33, and in which it means that this was this is actually green in color. So what is the other ion that is Cr2O7? That was uh, originally in the question they specify that we have an orange solution. So that that is actually the orange solution. So this is the orange solution because of the ion here and the group. Chromium plus three is green. Is it uh, clear how we worked out? So first we work out the electrode potential and from electrode potential, we work out what will the charge or what are the ions? Basically there will be two ions. One is uh, Cr2O7, another one is Cr plus three. And we know Cr plus three is actually green in color. So this was green and this one is orange in color. And this one, CRO4, that will be yellow in color. So in the next question, write the overall equation. Uh, write the overall equation for a reaction in a cell and state symbols are not required. So how you can write an overall equation? Look, when we work out for the chromate, this was the equation CRO, uh, Cr2O7, 14, then 2 chromium and 7 H2O. That, that was the equation. And these electrode potentials are always written for reduction, like to gain electron. So it is Cr2O7 plus. 14 uh, protons are there. We'll give 2 Cr plus 3 plus 7 water molecules are there. And the number of the electrons in this system so as the overall charge, because here when we check the overall charge, these are the 14, and this was minus 2. So there is plus 12. And when we write the overall charge here, this is plus six. So we need six more because we want to balance the left-hand side. So here it is plus 12. Here we have uh, plus six. So we can reduce here by adding six more electrons. So that is how we reduce. Now, to write a balance equation, what we can do, there are two ways to write this equation. Like we want to write a combined equation for this. So you can do like reduction minus oxidation and the electrode potential for this change is 1.33. So the one which is positive, it means it gain electrons. So the reduction happened. It means oxidation is happening for the other one because the one which is more positive uh, or higher positive, that reduction happened. So first what we do, we make the number of the electrons same for both equations. 
So how to make, there are six electron here. So we want to make six. So we multiply this by three. So this will be three. This will be six, six and three. No need to change the electrode potential because that is a standard electrode potential. It's for um, like one mole that you don't have to change. We don't want the cell voltage. We just want the equation. So for reduction, you will write as it is, but for oxidation, write it opposite because because all equations, the electrode potential equations are all given for reduction. So oxidation one, we write as it is, but reduction one, we write opposite. Like the one which is a product for it, we'll write as a reactant. So it will be three C2H5OH. And then this will be the, what is the reactant will be a product. So C, C3H7CHO, the aldehyde plus six protons are there. Plus six electron. And now we combine the two equations because the question is write the overall equation. So when we combine, so electron always cancel with electron because electron number always cancel out each other. So electron now, so what we are left with in this overall equation, so in this overall equation, we are left with Cr2O7 with the charge minus two plus uh, 3C2H5OH. There are 14 here and there are six. So we like 14 minus six, that will be eight. So there will be eight protons because here we have 14 and here we have six. Then uh, about the product, so it will be two Cr plus three plus three CH3CHO, the ethanol plus seven water molecule. So this is a combined equation or overall equation. So idea is that whenever you have electrode potential given, you identify which one is having a higher value because it's always the reduction minus the oxidation. So we write the reduction equation as it is. And first we make the number of electrons same reduction equation. We write as it is what are reactant product, but for oxidation equation, like in which oxidation happen as we write the reactant as a product and the product as a reactant and add the two equation then write in a simplified form. So this is the overall equation for this reaction. Then write an ionic equation for a reaction of aqueous solution of E with dilute sulfuric acid. State symbols are not required. So what will be the ionic equation? It's, it's basically, after writing an overall equation, it's Ionic equation. So first we have Cr uh, O4 with the charge minus two. It has turned into Cr two uh, O7 with the charge minus two. So two. This should be balanced. Then uh, to add, like what we have to do to balance the oxygen, we add uh, water. So here we have seven, here we have eight. So we should add water here. So we add uh, one water molecule, H2. To balance the hydrogen, we add proton. So we will add proton. But this is ionic equation. And so we don't have to mention um, the electrons here. This is not a redox equation, just an ionic equation. Is it uh, clear, this one? Is a conversion of... Uh, the solution E to F, like the ionic equation for reaction of aqueous solution of E with sulfuric acid. So E was converted into F. And this was actually yellow in color. And this is orange in color. In question 11, Compare and contrast the mechanism of action of platinum as a catalyst in the removal of pollutant from a car engine exhaust fume with, a, with that of vanadium 5 oxide as a catalyst in a contact process for manufacture of sulfuric acid. Journal definition of catalysts are not required. So you just want to compare. You're using two catalysts first. Uh, the type of the catalyst, because the catalyst can be a homogeneous or catalyst can be a heterogeneous. So if it's a homogeneous catalyst, it means they should have the same state as the reactant. But when we are 
like uh, using a platinum in a catalytical converter or we use vanadium pentoxide in a contact process vanadium pentoxide or platinum both are solid but the reactants here like example nitrogen monoxide and carbon uh, monoxide are gas same as uh, contact process sulfur dioxide and oxygen both are gas so it means the first thing in both cases the catalysts are heterogeneous catalysts means the state of a catalyst is not same as the state of the reactant. They have different states. That is one thing. Then how these catalysts work, how the, basically here you have to explain how heterogeneous catalysts work. So what heterogeneous catalysts will do, they will trap the, or they will absorb the reactant on the surface. And as a result, when they absorb, they weaken the bond in the reactant. So when they weaken the bond, and uh, second thing, they increase the surface area as well. Like if this was a catalyst, so they trap the reactant particles on the surface. So as they trap the water, as they trap the water part, uh, the reactant particles on the surface, so two things happen. Like within the reactant particle, there are bonds. These bonds become weaker. That is one thing. The second thing, it increases the surface area because in a gaseous state, the particles are moving randomly. There's no specific position. So as a result of a heterogeneous catalyst, they absorb the, the points which you will always mention uh, to score the marks versus identifying type of a catalyst because homogeneous catalysts, how they work, they can be easily oxidized and reduced. So first they will be like oxidized, then reduced, or first they are reduced and oxidized. But overall, because the overall it does not change, that's why we say they are catalysts. But heterogeneous, they absorb the reactant particle. on the surface and when they absorb the reactant particles on the surface, what will be the advantage of this? Uh, they reduce the bonds, uh, bond like weaken the bond or reduce the bond strength. Which lower the activation energy, like the same reaction can occur at a low temperature. And what else? They increase the surface area of the reaction for the reaction to occur. So these are the points you will mention like uh, both platinum and vanadium pentoxide are the heterogeneous catalyst. And in heterogeneous catalyst, what will happen? The reactant absorb on the surface, which weaken the bond, it increases the surface area, lower the activation energy. And in case of a uh, vanadium oxide, like it, what can happen? Vanadium pentoxide. So it's a pentoxide. So it's like V plus five. So it can reduce and oxidize. So vanadium can be because it has a pent or a vanadium five is there, which can be reduced and oxidized in contact process. Uh, 
Another question from the electrode potential, question 12. The reaction between iron 2 ion and manganese 7 ions are investigated by setting up a cell. So you can see this cell is there in which iron 2 has converted into iron 3 and MnO4 with a charge plus 7 turned into M. So this is oxidized, the other one is reduced. A solution A contain both iron 2 and iron. Identify the substances used for electrode. Look, as you can see that there is only change in the valency or the charge. So we don't need this electrode made up of iron. So this electrode should be made up of platinum, PT. And like inert material. Same thing, MnO4 aqueous turned into Mn plus 2 also aqueous. So again, there is a change in oxidation number, but it's not like forming the iron. It is not forming a manganese metal. That's why this electrode also, this electrode should also made up of platinum. If what if the question was like in this one, iron solid was turning into iron three. In that case, we need the electrode made from iron or an iron turned into a metal. But in both cases, because there's only change in oxidation number, it does not form a metal atom. That's why the electrode should be made from platinum. Both should be platinum. So X and Y, both electrodes made from platinum. A student suggests that for a standard condition, solution A should made from mixing equal mole of one, one mole per dm cube iron sulfate and one. This mixture is not suitable. Why? Because whenever we say we need an electrode potential, a standard electrode potential, we should have a concentration one mole per dm cube. If you check iron 3 sulfate, if student is mixing like iron 2 sulfate will dissociate into one iron ion and one sulfate ion. So if student is taking one mole, you will get one mole of this and one mole of, so that is correct. But what about iron 3 sulfate? In iron 3 sulfate, the formula will be Fe2SO4 in a bracket 3. So when it will dissociate into ions, it will dissociate into three ions and uh, uh, it will dissociate into two iron three ions and three sulfate ions. So if I take one mole per dm cube, the concentration of iron three won't be one mole. It will be two mole per dm cube. So the, it won't be standard because to make a standard solution, we should have one mole per dm cube of each ion. So what should be the concentration we should take for making it standard? We should take as 0 0.5 mole per decimeter cube. So when we take 0 0.5 mole per decimeter cube, this will be one mole per dm cube. So I state how this mixture should be changed and justify your answer. So you will simply mention like one mole of iron three sulfate gives two moles of iron ion. So if you take one mole per dm cube, the concentration will be two. But that's why we should take 0 0.5 mole per dm cube of iron three sulfate to give one mole per dm cube. Because in a standard condition, the, it should be one mole per dm cube. Identify the compound that may be used to make solution B. So we want to make solution B. We want KMnO4 and a manganese. So what we should uh, mix, like we, we want manganese too also and we want uh, manganese Mn plus 7 also. So which compound? Mn is plus 7. So that is uh, KMnO4. So identify, so it should be mixture of KMnO4 and um, manganese because it should be a soluble. All nitrates are soluble. So uh, manganese 2 nitrate. So it should be a mixture of these two. Why? Because this will provide Mn plus 7 ion or MnO4 ion, you can say, and this will provide Mn plus 2 ion. A student suggested that the salt bridge could be made by soaking a strip of a filter paper in barium nitrate. The reaction occur when the salt bridge become in contact with the iron 2 sulfate and solution A. State what observation would made and write an ionic equation. If a salt bridge is made up of barium nitrate, so barium will combine with sulfate ion to form barium sulfate. Normally, we use uh, group 1 nitrate salts, so they are all soluble. If this was ba barium nitrate, Ba is there and NO3. And there is a sulfate ion. So this sulfate ion will combine with a barium ion and as a result, barium sulfate is a white precipitate. 
So what will be the observation when this reaction will happen or occur? So it, it will give us a white precipitate. And then we have to write an uh, ionic equation for that. So ionic equation, the barium ion com combined with the sulfate ion. And don't forget to mention the state symbols. It will form barium sulfate. That is solid. Suggest some more suitable compound to use when making a salt bridge. So always remember whenever you want a substance to be a salt bridge, it should always be like a group one nitrate or usually like potassium or a sodium nitrate. So we'll use a potassium nitrate or a sodium nitrate. The electrode potential for us, we want to calculate electrode potential of a cell and use a data on page 17. A data booklet page 17 we will use. And what are the reagents for us? This is basically, we want the electrode potential for iron 2 and iron 3, and we want Mn4 to Mn7. So data booklet, page 17. Uh, this one is 14. Yeah, this one is 17. So what we have, um, we have iron 2 and iron 3. We'll find what is the electrode potential for that. So you can see here uh, an Mn. So we have this one, iron 2 and iron 3, and we have MnO4 and uh, Mn plus 2 is there. So this one, because MnO4, this one is also there, but that is manganese 4 oxide. That is solid, but we have aqueous. That's why we select this one. Why I did not select for iron the, this equation? Because here iron solid is formed. But we have uh, the iron solid is not formed. Here we have iron 2 and iron 3. Now you can see two electrode potentials are there. One is 0.77, another one is 1.51, positive. So which is a higher value for that reduction happened? And which is a smaller value, this oxidation happened. And how we work out the electrode potential of a cell so electrode potential of a cell, just remember red ox means reduction minus oxidation. So reduction was 1.51 minus oxidation is 0 0.77. So this will give us the standard electrode potential of a cell. So it will be 1.51 minus 0 0.77. That is equals to electrode potential of a cell will be 0 0.74 volts. And better write positive because a positive sign of electrode potential electrode potential cell shows means it will have a higher entropy or uh, like entropy increases or this reaction is feasible so that was uh, how we work out the then in part B, three grams of uh, powdered hematite, which contain iron three oxide, uh, only iron compound dissolved in a sulfuric acid. The iron three was reduced to iron two using a solution of sulfur, sulfur dioxide. The resulting solution we make to 250 cm cube and we just took out 25 cm cube by, and we titrated with manganate. So we have the volume and concentration. Explain why the solution of sulfur dioxide is suitable for reducing iron three ions. Electrode put in, use, use the data book of page 15. So when you work out for sulfur dioxide, you will like why it can be, it is suitable. It will reduce the iron uh, three ions into iron two using a uh, page 15. This was page 17. So this one, we have uh, 0.44 because this acid was used here. As you can see, uh, H2S3, sulfur dioxide aqueous, which is H2S3. So H2S3, this one is H2S3, that is 0 
and for converting because the electrode potential for the uh, conversion of iron 3 to iron 2 like if you want to convert um, the uh, and all all our reductions are there so th that was conversion of iron 3 gain electron turn into iron 2 that was uh, 1.51 so you can still see that this substance will be reduced because higher electrode potential so this will be reduced so this will oxidize so when electrode potential of the sulfur, aqueous sulfur dioxide or sulfur dioxide is smaller than electrode potential of iron 3 so this will be reduced and the sulfur dioxide will be oxidized so just use the electrode potential mentioned like the cell voltage, or you can also calculate a cell voltage by the same uh, reduction minus oxidation. So if it is reduction, it is 1.51 minus oxidation 0 0.40. Again, you will get a positive answer. I think one, uh, iron 2 to iron 3 was 0 0.77, not 1.5. I guess it was 0.77, yeah. So the same idea, 0.77, uh, minus 0 0.40, so this will give us a point. Iron 3. Yeah. The same idea, it will give a positive electrode potential, sulfur dioxide. Yeah, so this conversion is giving us a positive answer. H2S3 aqueous is there. 0.44 and for iron 3 to iron 2 that was 0.77 so when you subtract you will get a positive answer uh, 0.77 when you subtract you will get a positive answer that's why th this will be feasible then calculate the percentage by mass of iron 3 in a sample so what we will do I will just explain the method I'll not calculate. So you will have the volume and concentration. This will give you the moles of manganate. From moles of manganate, you will find the moles of iron 2. How to work out the moles of iron 2? You The main equation is given in the beginning. So moles of iron 2 or iron 3, it won't make difference. So you got the moles of iron uh, you got the moles of iron 2 here. The ratio is 1 is to 5 is to 1. So you'll get the moles of iron 2. After getting a moles of iron 2, these are the moles in 25 cm cube. But original volume was 250 cm cube. So in 250 cm cube, it will be 10 times. So you'll get the total moles of iron 2. And total moles of iron 2 will be same as moles of iron 3 because they have the same ratio. After getting the moles multiplied by molar mass of iron 3 sulfate, you will get the mass of iron 3 sulfate used in the experiment. Or mass of iron 3 oxide. So after getting a moles of iron 3 uh, multiply by molar mass because one mole of iron 3 give one mole of iron 3 oxide. So multiply by molar mass you will get the mass in gram of iron 3 oxide. Then iron 2 sulfate can be oxidized by dichromate in acidic condition. Use the half equation oxidation of iron ion reduce and reduction of dichromate ion. Write the overall equation. So the same way as we did in the previous uh, question, like we write, we have the equation for iron 3 and iron 2, which is 0.77 and the dichromate is also there. So it will be simply the reduction minus oxidation. You can write the uh, half equation and then combine them together. Use the half equation. So write the overall equation. So first, the conversion, like example, if Cr2O7, dichromate ion, uh, 14 protons are there, 6 electrons, give 2 Cr plus 3 plus 7 H2O. And then uh, iron 2 converted into iron 3 by electron and just multiply this by 6 and add the two equations, you'll get the answer. So just a practical reason why potassium manganate is preferred to potassium dichromate because potassium manganate changes from purple to colorless. Like, But uh, potassium dichromate show a transition of a color like from orange to green, 
or from yellow to green, so the, which is like color transition, it's difficult to identify uh, how much iron has reacted as compared to color disappear. Like from if potassium manganate, it will be colorless to purple, but in potassium dichromate, it is from orange to green or from yellow, if it is in acidic condition, yellow to green.